Alright y'all, welcome. Hey, the uh, ECU kit from ECU Studios finally came in. So, while we wait on them to send me my software, we're gonna go ahead and open up. Oh god, we're gonna try to open this up. Come on. Ugh. God. I've been waiting about three weeks for this. It's all good. Here we go. Alright, nothing else in there. From what I hear, it should just be the dongle for my laptop and the connector or the um, other piece that goes in the motorcycle. All right. Oh, yo, that's dope. Comes with my name on it, my fucking bike model. All right. Right on. That's what I expected. All right. So inside this little pouch, you will receive the uh, the can interface, I suppose it's called. And this would plug into the motorcycle. Hold on, Bubby. And then this we plug into this cable. Okay, so into this cable, and then this cable goes into your laptop. And then, from my understanding, this little dongle plugs into your laptop as a security measure, so their software can't get stolen. All right. Well, while I wait on their uh, their freaking software, so the software finally came in. I would be doing this when they're doing construction outside. <laughs> so the software came in. This is the ECU Studio. Um, little screen menu um, I don't have the best setup but uh, so here we go the uh, the can interface is plugged into my interface on the bike I guess you would call it and then comes with micro USB cable plugs into the interface and then this will plug into your laptop hopefully my, there you go and it said to Turn the bike on. I got a little got a list right here that I'm going off of, All right? So let's see, connect the ECU interface to the PC. Did that, open the studios, we did that. Click on the database icon to open up stock ROM. So click on that. Let me see. Now will be display, check the settings, then the ROM for any features you want to change. Okay. So we're just gonna put it on the the base one, right? the 800 all right so you see it comes up with a bunch of like uh, all your different options all right connect the ECU interface to the bike turn the ignition on next one in the ROM window menu so there'd be this one right here select program select flash Flash window. All right, here we go. Just press serial number. The correct reading. The serial number will confirm. It's correct corporation. Okay, so you just click that, and then press the right button. So we'll click this one. Turn off the ECU. And turn it back on. It says no license is present in the ECU and then this little thing says it will stop and it says no license is present do you want to use one it says do not worry this is normal for the first flash on all ECU since there's no license associated with this ECU yet and click yes to proceed all right so now down here at the little load bar you'll see we're at 10 percent so I'm gonna come back whenever it's done I guess all right guys um so here we go been about like two or three minutes and we're already at uh what 95 percent so hopefully i'm hoping this um they just reinstalling the base map will cause my check engine light to go away as well as um oh sweet there we go and hear the fuel pump priming nice and we're going to start it just to see if all right so we're gonna my check engine light did not go away okay that's fine um let me see, huh? Do I want to start it right now? I'm going to disconnect my can interface because I'm not sure how it gets affected. But um, let's see if just redoing that flash will give me the, design, the effect that I want, huh? Let me see. 
I don't think it will. I don't think putting the new, the base map back in it will do anything. Okay, well that was sort of, that was semi-premature, but hey, my check engine light did go away. I got no malfunctions, so now it's going to be a matter of putting on the, uh, the proper mapping and stuff to make sure that my thing thing is not running too lean. Awesome. So we're going to pack all these wires up for the time being. Get down, get off the couch. Get off the couch, get off the couch. Every time, man, every time. <laughs>